In the mountains above Longyearbyen, the world's northernmost town, the glaciers are retreating rapidly. Even on Svalbard, just 800 miles from the North Pole, many can only be reached with a hike to higher altitude. Andy Hodson has been studying the Fox Bonner Glacier for more than a decade, watching the ice melt by two metres every summer. Yeah, it's a gentle, gradual sort of death scenario, if you like, for the glaciers. The Arctic is heating up twice as fast as anywhere else on the planet. Walking on the ice is perilous for the unwary. Hidden below the surface are tunnels carved out by meltwater cascading down the mountainside. Where the thin roof falls in, there's a portal to the glacier's fragile interior. The rapidly changing climate is bringing new risks to people who live on the island. But this has obviously all collapsed in and people need to be aware of this. And sometimes when you're walking in these rivers in front of the glacier, you suddenly see this sort of ice roof, blocks of ice just flowing out very suddenly. People in Longyearbyen are used to living in a harsh climate, but now they face new hazards. Snow barriers have been installed above the town. Changing snow patterns have caused major avalanches and two people have died. The normal is the new normal. So it's normal it's raining in midwinter. It's normal that we have heavy precipitation. It's normal that we have more avalanche activities. The town council has now evacuated those vulnerable to further avalanches. Their houses condemned. So how many people lived here? I think it's, we're talking about 140 or something. 140 along here? And they've all had to find new places to yeah. live? and also the buildings you can see over there. Longyearbyen's priest says the new threat has changed the town. There is this kind of new insecurity. One thing is being hit by an avalanche when you're outside, you know, you, you, you know that's a kind of risk. Yeah. But when you're in your house, you're supposed to be safe. So that's a major change. And it's kind of all also psychologically. Global warming is also affecting the most arctic of pastimes. Traditional dog sleds are increasingly being replaced by buggies as the snow season gets shorter. Lifestyles are having to change in the new climate. Thomas Moore, Sky News, Svalbard.